there is a gym activity. We see it's kind of our products we have and we have the expenses available where the requirement is that what you have to do, you have to always uh, do like this, okay, insert this and do a sum, okay. Adding this, you get a appropriate result in this specific row, right? And then later on you do as a bold, okay. Likewise, uh, if in case this specific product you want to do it, we do it uh, with this kind of case. Again, insert a row like this and apply a same formula which we applied at the top. Okay, what if I told you, you don't have to do this kind of an activity. Instead, what you can do, okay, simply select this data from top to bottom, okay, press control shift and then top arrow and then right arrow down, okay, you will be selecting entire details over here and simply press from your keyboard, Alt A B, okay. At one simple click, you will get a pop-up like this, which means it's a subtotal, okay? It's asking us what exactly total you want, okay? So this is the expense subtotal we are looking out for. So I'll just check that on, okay? If in case you wish to add a average, you can add a average as well. For me, it's a sum. So I'll just select that as a sum, and it will also show me a summary at the bottom, okay? As soon as it is done, I'll just simply hit on OK button. And then I'll just double click over here. You can see at the bottom, right? If I click here, one, okay, I get a overall details, okay? If I click on two, I get a product specific details over here, okay? If I click on this three, you can see the product has been drilled down and we get each product's details line by line, okay? This kind of a tip will really help you if in case you are in finance, domain, or data kind of role. Okay. Hope you found this useful folks. So please don't forget to subscribe us. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.